Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. So today what I want to do is to um, look at the um, uh, this um, game loop where you where you have uh, uh, weapons improvement and how you equip your me or how you um, customize the loadout of your mechas. So this uh, game is based on the Battletech uh, franchise. So originally it was a um, board game from 1984 and uh, later on it became uh, a whole uh, franchise uh, comprising of uh, novels and also video games. So and it's a uh, Battletech is a, is a is a universe where the humanity discovers like this um, faster than light travel and uh, there are um, then uh, they start colonizing the the galaxy and different factions um, start fighting each other with these giant robots right also there's there's like this RPG version I think of uh, Battletech also you have uh, miniature figures uh, for the board games that you can paint so it's a whole it's it's, it's whole thing so one one thing that i liked about um uh, battletech when i play the the, the, the games and, and when looking at the miniature is that they they hold um, a great resemblance with uh, robotech I, I used to to watch that show back in the day and i was a, a fan of it and I didn't know the story about uh, FASA, the company that, that um, came up with uh, with the board game originally, and um, Harmony Gold, like the the, uh, the first um, board game, like borrowed uh, designs from from uh, Robotech, and Harmony Gold had the rights for it, and there there was like uh, this um, uh, how's it called this uh, copyright issues or. Uh, you know this this uh, legal stuff uh, came up uh, but at the end well we we have these um, mechas in in battletech that resemble a lot um, the the robotech mechas and then that is very um, cool well i i like the robotechs <laughs> especially the the, uh, the robotech designs so Today we are going to go um, to the battle mechs and we are going to look at their loadout. So there are several things I, I want to do. Um, one thing is, uh, well I have to Jenner, uh, Jenner uh, um, mechas. So we go into the loadout section and we switch to details. And you can see this system here of um, slots and um, and weapons, equipments uh, are uh, placed in those slots. And you have you have to keep an eye um, on the total tonnage. You cannot um, go beyond the the, the loud tonnage for that um, mecha. So in in the case of the Jenna, it's um, 35 tons. <clears throat> and I have 32 already equipped. So let's go into the well. Also, also you can you can watch this uh, section here to get uh, an overview of uh, uh, this mecha. So it has, uh, for example, 20, um, 224 uh, points of armor. It has 0 0.9 of cooling. Um, it has uh, heat generation to um, 0.46 and so on, right? So one thing that I tend to, to watch a lot is the damage per second. So this, this gives you an idea of uh, the damage that this uh, mecha is able to, to inflict, right? So the damage per second is 3.4. So I have um, piloted this mecha before and one issue with this mecha is that it um, generates a lot of heat. It's equipped with laser um, weapons and the laser weapons they generate heat. So this is one of the uh, core mechanics of the game, right? 
So as long as you're using um, energy weapons, they will tend to rise the heat of the mecha and the mecha has a threshold where um, it cannot operate anymore and it will shut down automatically. You can override that, but if you override um, the, the shutdown, your mecha will start to get damage from, from its own heat. And these mechas, they work with uh, fusion engines. That's what p powers these uh, mechas, so it's, uh, yeah. That's, uh, I guess, the reason why they generate so much heat, and that's also the reason how they can operate. So now, um, when you look at the... The mecha has different uh, sections, so it's divided in different sections. For example, the head, the torso, and uh, you have the center, uh, right and left torso, and the arms and the legs, right? So on the top of each section, you can assign um, armor points. So this is customizable. You can uh, add more or less armor. And uh, certain parts, they have uh, a front and a, and a back section, and a rear section. Uh, for example, the, the head doesn't have, but the, the right torso, for example, you can see here, it has a front and rear um, armor. So, but keep in mind that there's a, a limit to the armor in, in one hand, but also there's this overall weight limit that you cannot uh, go beyond. So it, this is its own like little game of uh, customizing your mecha to get uh, the most out, out of it, right? And the thing is that, uh, for example, um, the the other thing that you, you you have you have to keep in mind is that each component it takes a certain amount of uh, slots. For example, this double heat sink, it takes two slots of the of the whole. Um, part in this case the right torso and this uh, this part has a limited amount of slots that you can uh, fit with but at the same time the the component has its own weight so you are like all the time juggling all these uh, numbers like the number of slots the 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 the, the, the amount of uh, weight that it carries um, also, you have to keep in mind the heat that is going to produce. Well, a, a bunch of things, and then you are trying like to increase your uh, damage um, rate. So all these things are are, are um, important. Also, to keep in mind is that each um, part of the of the mecha um, can uh, house certain. Uh, components. So, for example, the right torso. You see here that there's a, a, a small symbol, and this is the symbol of uh, jump jets. So it can. I have two jump jets already here, but there's still one available um, slot to to be equipped with uh, with a jump jet. Well, yeah, the the. The jump jet can 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 um, can take more than one slot, but what I mean is the number of uh, components it can hold. So in this case, I can I can I could add um, one more uh, jump jet here. For example, I can I can show you. So here I could put, for example, another jump jet, and you see that one once I um, put that in. Um, the number then drops to zero. But that's not what I want to do now. What I want to do, for example, for um, this mecha is to... It would be nice if this mecha could uh, have more um, heat dissipation. So I could add more um, heat sinks and there's also, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about heat sinks because there's the single heat sink and the double heat sink. The, the single heat sink uh, weighs one ton and in fact I replaced, uh, this mecha was originally fitted with single heat sinks. So the, 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 the heat sink will um, weigh one ton. It will um, occupy one slot 
and it will have uh, an efficiency of 0.075. Now compare that to the double heatsink and you can see that they weigh the same. So they weigh one ton, so you are not penalized by um, by adding a double heat sink, you're not penalized um, weight wise, let's say. And you can see that the efficiency is doubled. The efficiency, so a double heat sink dissipates more heat than a single heat sink. But it um, occupies uh, the double, double the space. So, for example, I could have two heat sinks, two single heat sinks, they occupy the same space as the double heat sink. They both will dissipate the same amount of heat because each one will be 0 0.075 and that will end up being um, 0 um, 0.15. <coughs> but the problem is that two single heat sinks will add up to two tons. So you are penalized in the weight. So that's um, that's something that you, you have to consider. So this, this is the type of thing you, you have to think about when um, when managing component, when customizing your, your, your mecha. So one thing I want to do is to, um, for example, fill all the 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 slots here for this mecha i want i wanted to two things right to add double heat sinks to it i can do that so let's let's take that back now i have i have um available tonnage to fit right i have 32 tons uh my mecha is 32 out of 35 so that means that i can fit more weight now the question is what should i do here look like what's my goal now by customizing it w one of my goals is to increase the heat dissipation because this mecha frequently um shuts down itself once i'm um i f i'm firing the, the lasers uh, at certain rate like i i feel that i i don't have enough um uh, far power because like it's it's uh, it will quickly um, start overheating and I would like to improve that so one way to do that is that I place two double um, extra heat sinks that will bring my weight to 34 tons and still I have two additional laser slots to 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 place right to equip so one uh, thing that i i want to do is for example i would like to add small lasers because um, medium lasers they weigh one ton and you can see when you hover over your components you can see the 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 statistics right like the the numbers um and for example, this uh, medium laser will um, inflict a damage of uh, 0 0.862 uh, per second. That's that is damage. I want to replace them, by the way. Um, but uh, for now, what I want to do is that I want to equip um, uh, additional lasers. Here we have each one of those uh, weighing one ton, but as you can see i cannot add another medium laser here and another one here because that would be two tons and i'm already o overweight right ah by the way you saw that when i added the double heat sinks the cooling stats um increased so now i have a 0 0.3 uh, more heat dissipation um so when for example i have a a, a a small laser here and you see that the small laser um, weights half a ton so i could in principle um add two of these one there 
because it is is half um, half the weight and another one there. So at the end, maybe this won't be <laughs> depending on how it. Well, it of course it depends how how I use the mecha, but you you see that the heat generation is going up again. But the thing is that um, currently what I do is that I fire. I tend to fire the four um, medium lasers, uh, like repeatedly, repeatedly, one, uh, one after the other, and that tends to rise the heat. But if I have this combination of medium and, and small, what I would do is that I would um, switch between them because, like, I will fire the medium lasers at the same time, but not the small lasers because they have different ranges and this is something you have to keep uh, in mind as well because um, you see in the stats that um, the damage that the, the weapon does uh, has an optimal range it does it, it, the damage that the weapon does varies with the range so it has an optimal range and a maximum range what does that mean that uh, for example here it says optimal range uh, is 216 meters and at that range the weapon will do five uh, points of damage while the maximum range is 324 but at that range um, it will do only one point of damage that means that this that the damage decreases with with uh, with a uh, distance and I'm not sure, I think it does less damage, um, I, I don't know if it does less damage um, at um, closer ranges. But the thing is that the small uh, laser has another range. So the small laser has uh, 120 meters optimal range. So that means that I will be switching uh, between the, the firing these uh, lasers depending on uh, how far the target is. So that's that's uh, how that mechanic works. Um, also, for example, here I will, uh, I will be uh, a small laser short. I don't have more of these uh, small lasers. So what you can do is you go to equipment. I will lose my changes here, but it doesn't matter. And for example, um, buy uh, equipment from there. So I would like to buy those. And what else? Well, I think that's uh, not much else that we have there. You can uh, browse. Uh, this is. Um, these uh, ballistic uh, weapons then you have lasers missiles these countermeasures and um, everything else here you can see for example um, jump jets you, we can buy jump jets and heat sinks as well now uh, right now they don't have uh, double heat sinks so if they had, I, I would buy them. So, yeah, basically that's it. You can um, now, I, th I hope, uh, get a better grasp of uh, the, uh, how this game mechanic works. So right now when I look at my mecha, I didn't commit any changes. So that means that my mecha is still um, in in a state of under tonnage here and well i'm using a, a, a by the way i'm using a, a mod the merc mod that will add um like uh, weapon degradation this uh, another topic um, that i will touch on briefly you can um let's go to the workbench there's this section workbench where you can um, improve your weapons so these weapons have these tiers right and you can upgrade them to increase the tier 
And as you upgrade them, of course, the, the, the performance of the weapon um, increases as well. So, <coughs> and this uh, red um, uh, red markings here for, for this weapon uh, means that this weapon is damaged, so weapons can be damaged, so they become unusable, but you can repair them. And you can also dismantle weapons and they will generate all these uh, small components and those small components you need them to um, either repair or uh, refurbish or, or upgrade um, your weapons. So currently I'm uh, especially interested for example in upgrading these uh, medium lasers model and they are currently tier 2 but if I want to upgrade look the, it says um, that I need I have um, the amount of scrap I, I need or more than that uh, the mounts, the electronics, but I'm lacking some uh, focus lens. So focus lenses, uh, we can um, we can obtain, for example, by uh, by disassembling uh, lasers that we don't uh, we're not going to use. But currently, I have five, so that means that I need um, I need a lot of those. So let's see. Ah, one thing is that, um, for example, I could obtain some lasers by. I have this other Jenner, and he's using uh, these uh, chemical lasers that I don't um, I don't want. So I can just remove them. Ah, the other ones. Yeah, but I will remove all, all of these lasers. The thing is, once I remove all the lasers and uh, commit it, now it will ask me to confirm. These weapons are not immediately available. So that means that uh, we will have to um, go to the timeline. and we can go to the next event next event is in eight days yes you see now time passed and we are um our work is 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 ready the the order we um, booked is ready uh, one thing you have to take into account is when time goes on, you have like these uh, uh, paydays, right? When when the time comes, you have to pay the, the crew and pay for uh, your expenses. And this is a, a, a downside of just letting time pass instead of, for example, um, using the time to travel. So if you have like uh, re repairs um, booked, you can just travel to wherever you want to go, and and in the meantime, the, the your orders are, are being worked on. But for the sake of this video, uh, it's okay to pass some time, and then now we can go to the workbench, and we will have more. Um, more lasers that we need to for the whole thing so let me see one thing is uh, we have the flamer currently i don't use the flamers let's see uh, i want to see about uh, what's what's the um, characteristic of the flamer yeah the damage per second is 0 0.4 so no no I, I won't use flamers for now and so let's just uh, get rid of those so now if I go to the flamer 
If I disassemble, I will get um, some components. Ah, but not the lenses. That's the problem. So let's see. Uh, and the SP laser. Well, the the, the SP laser will, will give me what we, we need. Uh, it will go closer. It will give me eight. So let's disassemble that. So right now I have 13. That's perfect. And now let's get rid of the, the deep deep lens uh, lasers. It will also give me some of it. Uh, also this one. This is damaged. So let's disassemble it. Also you could sell equipment. That's, that's another possibility. The diverse also, I will just get rid of it. And also the chemical laser. Yep, that one. Um, we got rid of that one as well. And now I have three uh, medium laser model. Let's see, we, we want to um, improve them. So now we can go here to upgrade. And you see now that we have all the necessary components we need. We just upgrade them. So yeah, I upgraded one. And it's now uh, tier two. But I cannot upgrade anymore. So this was one upgrade. Uh, can we... I think we don't have... Ah, yes, we can upgrade that one as well. So now I have two. I ah I have three star flash. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, but it's it's um expensive to upgrade a model. Now I'm missing more components, and the focus lens are the like the yeah like the bottleneck, the scarce resource. So to get uh, components uh, you can always uh, when you're negotiating your, your contract you can just um, put your points in the salvage so in that way you can get more um, weapons and then you can dismantle them okay guys but I think uh, we will leave it here I think you have a, a good idea of um, of um, the mechanics of upgrading weapons and uh, customizing the loadout of your um, mechas so yeah hopefully you hopefully you you find this video useful and i expect to see you in the in the next video so this is cyber signing off